Picture this, you're up for a big promotion and it's down to you and Karen from accounting. You're both qualified, but who gets the nod? It's often the little things that tip the scales. That's where business etiquette comes in. It's like the secret handshake of the corporate world. And today, I'm here to teach you the moves. All right, let's kick things off with the basics. First up, let's talk about how to introduce yourself like a boss lady. You know that awkward moment when you're not sure whether to go for a handshake or a hug? Yeah, we've all been there. Here's the deal. In a business setting, always opt for a handshake. But here's the kicker, make it firm, but not bone crushing. Nobody likes a limp fish handshake, but you're not trying to win an arm wrestling contest either. And here's a pro tip. While shaking hands, make eye contact and smile. It's like the triple threat of introductions. And please, for the love of all things professional, don't do that elbow bump thing unless there's a global pandemic going on. Now, let's talk about something that might ruffle a few feathers, office attire. I know, I know we shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but let's be real. In the business world, your outfit is like the dust jacket of your professional novel. You want it to scream New York Times bestseller, not 50 shades of unprofessional. So what's the secret to dressing like a classy lady? It's simple. Dress for the job you want, not the job you have. But here's the twist. Don't go overboard. If you're gunning for the CEO position, don't show up in a three-piece suit and a top hat. Instead, aim for polished and put together. Think classic pieces in neutral colors. And please, for the love of HR, make sure everything fits properly. Nothing says, I don't care, like clothes that look like they're trying to escape your body. And here's a tip that'll make you stand out. Invest in a signature accessory. Maybe it's a unique brooch or a classic watch. Something that becomes your trademark. Think of it as your personal brand in accessory form. Just make sure it's not too flashy. We're going for classy, not flavor flav. Moving on to communication. In the world of business, how you say something is often just as important as what you say. So, let's talk about the art of speaking like a lady boss. First things first, ditch the upspeak. You know, when every sentence sounds like a question, that's gotta go. It makes you sound unsure of yourself. And in the business world, confidence is key. Now, here's a tip that might surprise you. Learn the art of the strategic pause. Most people are so afraid of silence that they rush to fill it with well. But a well-placed pause can make you seem thoughtful and in control. Plus, it gives you time to gather your thoughts. Just don't pause for so long that people think you've fallen asleep with your eyes open. And while we're on the topic of communication, let's talk about email etiquette. Because let's face it, half of our work life happens in our inbox. First rule of email club, proofread everything, twice. Nothing undermines your professionalism faster than an email full of typos. Here's another tip. Create email templates for common situations. Having a go-to response for meeting requests, project updates, or even polite rejections can save you time and ensure you always sound professional. And please stop using emojis in professional emails. I don't care how cute that little winking face is, it has no place in your quarterly report. Save the smileys for texting your bestie. Now, let's talk about something that makes a lot of people squirm. Networking. I know, the word alone is enough to make some of us break out in hives. But here's the thing. In the business world, it's not always what you know, but who you know. So how do you network like a classy lady? First off, forget everything you've heard about elevator pitches. Nobody wants to hear your rehearsed speech about how amazing you are. Instead, Focus on being genuinely interested in others. Ask questions, listen actively, and find common ground. It's like dating, but instead of a romantic partner, you're looking for a professional connection. Here's a tip that'll make you the MVP of networking events. Become a connector. Instead of just collecting business cards like they're Pokemon, focus on introducing people who might benefit from knowing each other. It's a win-win-win situation. The two people you connect get a valuable new contact, and you become known as someone who adds value to others. And here's a networking tip that'll make you stand out, follow up with a handwritten note. 
In this age of digital everything, a personal handwritten note is like finding a unicorn in your mailbox. It shows you're willing to go the extra mile and trust me, people remember that. All right, let's switch gears and talk about something that makes a lot of people uncomfortable, money talk. In the business world, knowing how to discuss salary, negotiate deals, and handle financial matters with grace is crucial. So how do you talk money like a lady boss? First off, do your research. Know your worth and be prepared to back it up with facts. When discussing salary, be confident, but not arrogant. It's a fine line, but you've got this. And here's a tip that might surprise you. Use silence to your advantage. After stating your desired salary, resist the urge to ramble. Let the other person fill the silence. You'd be amazed how often this leads to a better offer. Now, let's talk about something that's often overlooked, but super important, time management. In the business world, your ability to manage your time effectively can make or break your career. So, how do you become a time management queen? First off, prioritize like a pro. Not all tasks are created equal. Use the Eisenhower matrix to categorize your tasks based on urgency and importance. Focus on what's important and urgent. Schedule what's important but not urgent. Delegate what's urgent but not important and eliminate what's neither urgent nor important. Here's a game-changing tip. Learn to say no. I know, it's hard. We all wanna be team players, but saying yes to everything is a one-way ticket to Burnout City. Remember, every time you say yes to something, you're saying no to something else. Make sure you're saying yes to the right things. And here's a time management tip that'll set you apart. Embrace the power of batching. Group similar tasks together and tackle them in one go. It's like meal prepping, but for your work tasks. This reduces the mental energy you spend switching between different types of tasks and can dramatically boost your productivity. Now, let's talk about something that makes a lot of people sweat. Public speaking. Whether it's presenting in a meeting or giving a speech at a conference, the ability to speak confidently in public is a game changer in the business world. So how do you rock that podium like a boss lady? First off, preparation is key. Know your things inside and out. But here's the twist. Don't memorize your speech word for word. That's a recipe for disaster if you forget a line. Instead, focus on key points and practice speaking naturally about them. Here's a tip that'll make your presentations pop. Use the power of three. Our brains are wired to remember things in threes. So structure your main points in groups of three. It's more memorable and it just sounds good. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness sounds a lot better than life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, and also free Wi-Fi, right? And here's a public speaking tip that'll set you apart. Use your hands. Gesturing while you speak isn't just for Italian grandmothers. It actually helps you think more clearly and makes you appear more confident. Just don't go full windmill. Subtle gestures are key. All right, let's talk about something that's becoming increasingly important in the business world, digital etiquette. In this age of Zoom meetings and Slack channels, knowing how to navigate the digital landscape with grace is crucial. So how do you become a digital diva in the professional world? First off, treat virtual meetings with the same respect as in-person ones. That means no multitasking. We can all see you scrolling through Instagram. No eating, unless it's a lunch meeting. And for the love of all things holy, wear pants. You never know when you might have to stand up. Here's a pro tip for video calls. Look at the camera, not the screen. I know it's tempting to stare at your own face. Trust me, we all do it. But looking at the camera makes it seem like you're making eye contact. It's a small thing that makes a big difference. And here's a tip that'll make you a Zoom superstar. Invest in good lighting. A well-lit face looks more professional and engaged. You don't need a full Hollywood setup. A simple ring light can work wonders. Trust me, your colleagues will appreciate not having to squint at your shadowy silhouette. Now, let's talk about something that's often overlooked, but super important. The art of the apology. We all make mistakes, but how we handle them can make or break our professional reputation. So how do you apologize like a classy lady? 
First off, own it. No ifs, ands, or buts. A real apology doesn't include excuses or try to shift blame. It's simple. I'm sorry for specific action. It won't happen again. And then, this is crucial. Follow through on that promise. Here's a tip that'll make your apologies more effective. Offer a solution. Don't just say sorry and walk away. Propose how you're going to fix the problem or prevent it from happening again. This shows that you're proactive and responsible. And here's a tip for apologizing. Do it in person, if possible. In this age of email and text, a face-to-face -face apology, or at least a video call, shows sincerity and courage. Plus, it allows for immediate dialogue and resolution. Now, let's dive into something that's crucial for long-term success, continuous learning. In today's fast-paced business world, the only constant is change. So, how do you stay ahead of the curve and keep growing professionally? First off, develop a growth mindset. Embrace challenges as opportunities to learn and grow. Don't shy away from difficult tasks or feedback. Instead, see them as chances to improve your skills and knowledge. Here's a pro tip, create a personal learning plan. Identify the skills you need to develop for your current role and future career goals. Then, set specific, measurable learning objectives. Maybe it's mastering a new software, improving your public speaking skills, or learning a new language that's relevant to your industry. And here's a learning tip that'll set you apart. Teach others. Yes, you heard that right. Teaching is one of the best ways to reinforce your own learning and identify gaps in your knowledge. Start a blog, mentor a junior colleague, or offer to lead a workshop at work. Not only will you solidify your own understanding, but you'll also position yourself as an expert in your field. Now, let's talk about something that's essential for maintaining your sanity in the business world, work-life balance. It's easy to get caught up in the hustle and forget about the importance of personal time. So how do you achieve that elusive balance like a boss lady? First off, set clear boundaries. Just because you can work 24 seven doesn't mean you should. Establish specific work hours and stick to them. When you're off the clock, be off the clock. That means no checking work emails at 11 p.m. unless it's absolutely necessary. Here's a game-changing tip, learn to delegate. You don't have to do everything yourself. In fact, trying to do so is a surefire way to burn out. Identify tasks that can be handled by others and trust your team to get them done. It's not just about lightening your load, it's also about empowering your colleagues and helping them grow. And here's a work-life balance tip that'll make you stand out. Schedule your personal time like you schedule your work commitments. Block out time in your calendar for exercise, hobbies, family time, or just plain old relaxation treat these personal appointments with the same respect you'd give to a meeting with your CEO. All right, let's talk about something that can make or break your professional relationships, emotional intelligence. In the business world, your ability to understand and manage your own emotions, as well as those of others, is just as important as your technical skills. So how do you become an emotional intelligence pro? First off, practice self-awareness. Pay attention to your emotions and how they affect your behavior at work. Are you snapping at colleagues when you're stressed? Do you withdraw when you're feeling overwhelmed? Recognizing these patterns is the first step to managing them. Here's a tip. Develop your empathy muscles. Try to see situations from other people's perspectives. This doesn't mean you have to agree with everyone, but understanding where they're coming from can help you communicate more effectively and resolve conflicts more easily. And here's an emotional intelligence tip that'll set you apart. Keep an emotion journal. At the end of each workday, jot down any significant emotional reactions you had. What triggered them? How did you handle them? Over time, you'll start to see patterns and areas for improvement. All right, ladies, we're in the home stretch. Let's recap what we've learned about being a classy lady in the business world. Master the art of the professional introduction, firm handshake, eye contact, and a smile. Dress for success, 
But don't go overboard. And remember a signature accessory can be your personal brand. Communicate with confidence, ditch the upspeak, and embrace the power of the pause. Network like a pro by being genuinely interested in others and becoming a connector. Navigate money talk with grace and confidence. Manage your time, prioritize, learn to say no, and embrace batching. Rock public speaking by using the power of three and embracing gestures. Master digital etiquette. Treat virtual meetings with respect and invest in good lighting. Apologize like you mean it. Own your mistakes and offer solutions. Embrace continuous learning, develop a growth mindset, and teach others. Achieve work-life balance by setting boundaries and scheduling personal time. Cultivate emotional intelligence. Practice self-awareness and empathy. Remember, being a classy lady in business isn't about being perfect. It's about handling yourself with grace, treating others with respect, and always striving to be your best professional self. It's about confidence, competence, and a dash of charm. So there you have it, ladies, your comprehensive guide to navigating the business world with class and style. Now go out there and show them what you're made of. The corner office is waiting for you. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember, the business landscape is always evolving, and so should we. What worked yesterday might not work tomorrow, so stay curious, stay adaptable, and most importantly, stay true to yourself. Being classy isn't about fitting into a mold. It's about being the best version of yourself and bringing that to the table every single day. And don't be too hard on yourself if you slip up sometimes. We're all human and making mistakes is part of the learning process. What matters is how you handle those slip ups and what you learn from them. That's what separates the good from the great in the business world. So whether you're just starting out in your career or you're a seasoned pro looking to up your game, I hope you found something valuable in this video. Remember, small changes can lead to big results. Maybe start by implementing one or two of these tips and see how they work for you. Then gradually add more as you get comfortable. Before we wrap up, I want to leave you with one final thought. Being a classy lady in business isn't just about advancing your own career. It's about lifting others up along the way. When we support each other, share knowledge, and celebrate each other's successes, we all win. So let's make a pact to be not just classy ladies, but also supportive colleagues and mentors. All right, that's all for today, ladies. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Remember, you've got this. Now go out there and show the business world what a truly classy lady can do. Until next time, stay fabulous, stay professional, and most importantly, stay true to yourself. Bye for now.